All right, this is what we're doing. This is a uh, M62 non-Vanos early style. This is a, a 95 car, and they put a 96 engine in it. This is the E38 body style, and this guy put a 97 engine in a 95 car. And what we're doing is trying to make the cam sensor work properly. Now, 90, 90 OBD2, which is 96 and up, use a Hall effect sensor. OBD1 uses magnetic sensor. They're two different sensors. In addition, they're also different wheels. As you can see, one, this is the old style, the OBD1 in my hand. This is a dual row, and the old one is a single row. In addition to that, the way they read is different. This one has a pin on it. As you can see over here, this pin is what spins around and reads off the cam sensor. This one uses a whole different configuration. It uses like a sheet metal plate with many teeth in it to, 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 to send a different signal. So what we're going to do, we located it exactly where it should be and according to this, and it looks like it's going to be somewhere around 7 o'clock. If this appears, the top is 12 o'clock because the old one, the old wheel has a uh, arrow on it showing 12 o'clock right up here. And we're going to, the pin kind of is at 7 o'clock as you can see from the arrow at the top to the bottom is about 7 o'clock. So we're going to do the same here. We're going to cut out extra material. We're going to install the proper sensor and we're going to make sure we have the proper depth for the reading of the sensor. And that's pretty much it. We lock the cams in place so we get the timing marks as close as possible. This is a, you know, a, uh, and a slick attempt to do it quicker than removing a whole engine.